few weeks ago, I walked you through an exclusive look at the upcoming POS Wallet. And today, I am super excited to let you know that the POS Wallet is here and ready for you to use. I'm Rob from Cypherglass, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the brand new POS wallet and show you how to download it for yourself so that you can start anonymizing your POS transactions. Now, it's important to note that this is not the full wallet release, but instead it's a bonus early release of the POS wallet for those that want to try out some of the functions. The full suite of privacy functions will be out later this quarter, according to the POS roadmap that is Q3 2019, when the contract will be pushed to the mainnet. So without further ado, here it is, the tutorial on how to download, install, and use the brand new POS wallet. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the official POS GitHub, and I will leave a link in the description below so that you can make sure you're using the right link. It is very, very important that you only download the POS wallet from the official POS GitHub and not from any other sources, especially people who claim to be the POS team. So click that link in the description and go ahead and install either the .dmg if you're on a Mac or the .exe if you're on a PC. And of course, if you're super tech savvy, you can download the source code directly and compile it yourself. Now, once you have the POS wallet installed, go ahead and open it up and you'll see this screen for the very first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a password to secure my wallet. This is very similar to the password that I use to unlock my scatter, but you should pick a password that's different, but still something you can remember. Now that my password is set, I can go ahead and choose to either create a new POS wallet, which does not require an EOS account, or I can go ahead and import an existing wallet. Because I've never set up the POS wallet before, and I only have my POS publicly stored in my EOS account, I'm gonna go ahead and click Create New Wallet. Now, at this point, you will see a mnemonic phrase, and this is a 12-word seed phrase that will allow you to recover your POS accounts. Remember, POS accounts exist using unspent transaction outputs, or UTXOs, which is very similar to Bitcoin and sort of serves as a foundation for many different privacy and obfuscation technologies. So it's very, very important that even though your POS are stored in your EOS account, if you're going to use the POS wallet and all of the privacy features, it is incredibly important that you back up and write down this 12-word seed phrase so that you never lose access to your POS. Now that you have your 12 word recovery seed phrase written down and stored somewhere safe, go ahead and click the next button in the POS wallet. Now you'll notice I have the opportunity to connect my POS wallet with my existing scatter accounts. So if you think of the scatter account, that EOS account that you have right now as the publicly viewable portion of your POS, you can connect it to the POS wallet and then move portions of your public POS into a private obfuscated form in the POS wallet using your POS account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now by clicking the connect with scatter button. Then I'll select the account I wanna use, which in this case is rob.vr. That's the account that I use to store my POS. Now, this is the part of the wallet where the magic happens. You'll notice at the top, I have this scatter bar that always shows my balance of publicly available POS in my rob.vr account. Down here, you'll see my POS address, and of course, all of my wallet addresses below. So as I continue to use the POS wallet, I will likely have more and more wallet addresses that I've used in the past below. So if you want to anonymize the POS that you have in your public wallet, like I do in rob.vr, all you have to do is click the anonymize button. Then once I click confirm, you'll notice the scatter pop up on the right. It'll show the quantity of POS that I'm about to anonymize, and I'm gonna load this into an unspent transaction output, which is my POS wallet address. I'll go ahead and click allow. Now you'll notice when I go back to my wallet, all of the POS that I just anonymized are now in my POS address. And if you search for rob.vr on a block explorer, it will show that my EOS account has zero POS. That's because those POS were moved from my public facing EOS account into my private obfuscated POS wallet. Pretty cool, right? Now, if I wanna send any of my anonymized POS from my POS wallet to another POS wallet, whether that's the wallet of someone else or just another wallet that I own, all you have to do is this. Simply copy the address that you want to send to, 
Click the send button. You're gonna paste in that address that you just copied and put in the amount of POS. In this case, I'll send a thousand and I'm gonna transmit this through scatter. So I go ahead and click send. Now you'll notice in this transaction that the payer on this account in Scatter is rob.vr, and that's okay, but you need to know that that will link your EOS address to your POS account in some way. So if you want to do this in a way that is more anonymous, you can simply click the POS relay option. It's gonna take a fee of four POS to pay for the RAM, but this way that transaction is not linked to my EOS account at all. So I'll go ahead and click send. And boom, just like that, you can see that the thousand POS that I sent from my other POS wallet was sent to this POS wallet without the need for a scatter pop-up. That means that the POS relay took that small POS fee to pay for the RAM necessary to make this transfer and transferred the POS from one of my POS accounts to the other. Now, in an upcoming version of the POS wallet, you'll be able to move your POS from this anonymized state back to the public state, along with a variety of other super exciting privacy features. If you wanna learn more about everything that POS is doing and see all the code that they've delivered so far, I highly recommend you head to their website at POS.one and hop into the POS Telegram. The POS Telegram is the place where all of the news breaks right away, including the release of this wallet, which came out earlier this week. So if you own some POS or you just simply want to follow along with the project, I highly recommend joining that Telegram and staying engaged there. Now, when the full wallet is out, or if there are any other major updates from the POS team, I'll be sure to walk you through it and show you how to use it then. But this first wallet release from the POS team not only proves that they've delivered on that UX preview we saw a few weeks ago, but also shows just how well that anonymized function works and the transfer function between two anonymized POS accounts. Until next time, I'm Rob from Cypherglass, and remember, go POS! Yeah.